Hey guys, it's Googly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Carbon ROM for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Carbon ROM, whoa the nostalgia, I mean Carbon ROM is one of my favorite ROMs available for any device, it has great features, good battle life, good performance and it is one of the packages which I look forward to for a phone and it has worked really well for me. Back in the S3 days, it was the ROM to go on because I really really liked it. Let's go to the ROM now, first of all what you see here is that well, ambient display is working with uh, the pickup sensor hand wave and all that is working really well there is a launcher which is uh, basically quick step it works really well it has a clear all by swiping down which absolutely love it works really well and I'm really happy with that let's go to settings now in the settings menu in the about phone page you can see that it is Android 9.0 of course July security patches so it has been updated the weekly version is a uh, third uh, July kind of weird that the uh, the patch security level is July 5th while the ROM is July 3rd the patches are released on 1st of July the kernel version is 318120 lineage kernel of course it is and it does work out really well. SLN status is enforcing if you're entering about that. That's it in the about phone page. Now let's get to the features. Now first of all before that everything is working. I have used this phone for about two days now. VLT is working. I have disabled the SIM 2 though. Uh, you do have an option to disable the SIM 2 but it, the icon will not move away if you do not uh, select or deselect the option for removing the SIM from the status bar. So that is there. Apart from that everything is working. SIM cards are available. You can disable or enable the SIM card which is pretty cool. So yeah. Now almost all the extra options are inside the carbon fibers option which does work out so let's go to the system option in the system option you have shortcuts so you can just change the uh, power button shortcuts here flashlight can be enabled all that is available which does work out really well now advanced remote can be enabled or disabled from here smart pixel options are available which is an interesting feature it does actually save a lot of battery life if you are traveling and only watching videos because it doesn't make much of a difference there you can also auto enable that number of pixel or percentage of pixel to disable is available and also prevent burning by shifting the pixel is also available now the screen of animations are available you can select from any of these options and vibrate on plug of battery is available status bar options you do have status bar items and you can actually customize that this is the option which i was mentioning where you have to enable this one to hide the disabled sim card on the status bar which is kind of what you need to do i'm not really sure why that is an option you just need to disable that battery icon style is available you can customize from, from here battery percentage can be inside the icon outside the icon whatever you wanted clock position is available with ampm indicator show week of the day is available if you want to do that if you are using sender it will make sense so <laughs> there is no small ampm indicator which i would have loved to have because that's something which i use care label options are available custom care label is also available network traffic indicators can be enabled or disabled which does work out reasonably well with it it also has the uh, auto height threshold which does work out really well now lock screen options are available where you have scramble layout quick pin layout is available which i don't use anymore automatic face unlock is available if you are someone who uses the google face unlock feature Secure quick settings is available which disables uh, quick settings if you are uh, if you have a lock screen enabled. Now lock screen shortcuts can be customized. I have set it to none but you can actually set it to default options or anything else which fancies you. Music visualizer can be enabled and also media cover art can be disabled if you don't want that. Button customization is available where you do have the option to enable battery bar or navigation bar. Customizer is available. Layout can be customized and also editor is available. Not the most feature rich but still works. Backlight options are available where you have customization for the brightness level timeout link to screen brightness is also available which does work out so you have a lot of options there button activity is available where you can just uh, change the button layout for uh, back button home button and overview button to any of these options which does work reasonably well single tab long press and also double tap can be customized for that volume button customization is available where you have playback control and also torch with the power button which does work out really well i love that option it just works really well for me guest options are available where you do have carbon gestures which is the unique feature about carbon roms is that you have options to select the number of fingers if you select three fingers and if you select a down gestures for i don't know let's select a foam at any screen you can just uh, use this number of fingers there and uh, have any option so you have all of these options available and you can even launch an application which should work really well let's uh, select okay we have selected launch and do the benchmark three finger gestures down so i will be launching that when, I, when it comes to performance that is available double tap on the status bar for sleep double tap on the lost into sleep and also is available 
jump to camera by double tapping the power button is available which should work which works really well the privacy options it does have app ops if you want to control the uh, permissions of each and every application which will work really well so that's also there hide apps from recently is available if you want to hide a particular app ever coming on this screen which should work really well that is it in the carbon fiber options apart from that in the display options you do have brightness level uh, adaptive brightness is available which you can enable you also have options for font options you can customize what all fonts are available not a lot of options are available but still it just works uh, for the most part so i'm really happy with that font size and display size is available now as you can see i'm using the largest one because well and display options are available for pickup hand wave and pocket mode which is really cool adapt to wake is available now device theme options are available you can select dark theme which should work really well and also it has a black theme if you are not just satisfied with the dark theme you can customize that it can enable the real black dark theme also now also the accent color picker is available where you have all of these options which is material and also a few user options are available which does work out reasonably well security options i do want to say that yeah, i am using encrypted device so it will work on an encryption device so no, no problems there digital well-being is available ls letter options are available as you can see i have actually enabled the swap button because it comes with the samsung layout so yeah that's pretty much it ls letter is also working so that is pretty cool then the system options you do have basic options here one of my favorite options about carbon warm is the delta updates this is a delta updater now i have not personally done any updates but uh, this is a delta update system what it means is that whenever there is an update you don't need to download the full 600 or 700 meg update file to get it updated you will have maybe 30 megs or 60 megs or at the most 100 megabytes you need to download to update your system which is really cool i really love delta updates i would love for that to be available with other roms also so that is it in the extra options in the carbon rom as you can see it is not a slouch when it comes to custom options but it's not the most feature rich rom you don't have to expect it to be the most feature rich rom it has enough features to keep you entertained for a long time and with the ota options of delta update it's really something you want to keep in your phone for some time so i'm really happy with that it works really well now the battery life of the rom battery life is well let's say it's not the best one uh, the active drain is somewhere between 14 to 15 percentage which is fine idle drain though is kind of high uh, i'm getting about 1.8 percentage to 2 percentage which is kind of a on the higher side i have used this for some time now and uh, i mean it does get you a overnight drain of maybe 1.4 to 1.5 less than 1.5 percentage but uh, i mean daily usage i do think that it is slightly on the higher side so expect about four hours of sot on this one which is fine and uh, on a three-year-old device i'm not complaining about that now the performance of the rom let's uh, uh turn on the end to the benchmark and this is the performance i got slightly lower than 160 is what i've been getting with the multiple runs i've been having 160 is the golden uh, number which i'm getting with other pi roms this is slightly lower than that and the performance actually does reflect on uh, gaming also I did try uh, PUBG it works but it does dip down to 15 FPS or so sometimes during heavy combat so it it does happen now i do want to clarify from my lineage review also that whenever i run pubg i run at the max graphic setting if you if you disable the graphic setting or turn it down a notch it will work pretty well at 30 fps so you shouldn't have any issues i'm doing this as a benchmark so that is the reason i want to throw everything at it keep that in mind stability wise it's a very decent rom now the previous version of carbon roms i did have a lot of issues and uh, i didn't want to make a review on that on based on that it was the initial versions available with pi the camera didn't work there were a lot of force close issues with the phone and all that i'm really happy that this one doesn't have any of that issues it just worked really well i'm pretty happy with the stability on this rom it just works really well now the camera the camera does work the previous versions which i tried quite a long time ago but still didn't work it comes with snap cam with a lot of modes and all that it has pro mode it has auto mode works reasonably well now i wouldn't consider this as a replacement for gcam if you want to use gcam you will get a little bit better performance better pictures with that with a little bit more processing done you can use that it should work really well now the aesthetics of the rom the aesthetics of the rom is pretty decent as i've already said black mode is pure black mode you can actually see that the notification is also the black i'm really happy with that accent colors are available not plentiful but bountiful so it does work out aesthetically it's a great rom i don't have much complaints about it it uh, it works well it, it works well enough now the overall experience of using the rom the overall experience of the rom is 
pretty decent man i mean i'm happy with using this rom as my daily driver if i ever want to use a rom just want everything to work because everything works i don't have any issues with it this is a decent enough daily driver and it has enough of those features to just customize it to just where you want it now i do want to throw it out there if you enjoy flashing custom roms if you are a flashaholic person you will not take much enjoyment from this rom uh that is something which is available there are other ones with loads more features and loads more customization available delta feature and all that makes this a very good daily driver for someone who wants everything to just work and not mess with it from time to time let me show you guys the boot animation which is actually pretty cool so guys there you have it that is the carbon rom boot animation which is pretty decent um i actually prefer this boot animation to the previous one which was in oreo which had the uh, weird 3d style boot animation this is actually pretty cool i like it i mean it's interesting so guys there you have it that was the carbon rom which for the one plus three which is well it's it's a very near and dear rom to me it is pretty much a great daily driver and i would love for people to use this one because it is pretty cool i guess that much is it about the roms and hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye